Tributes are being paid by the families of indie band Viola Beach and their manager, who died in a car crash in Sweden. Chris Leonard, River Reeves, Tomas Lowe, Jack Dakin, and manager Craig Tari were killed when their car plunged more than 25m, 82 feet, from a bridge into a canal. The family of guitarist Mr. Reeves said all he wanted to do was perform and he could not have been happier. Mr. Tari's family said he worked tirelessly to achieve success. They said they were devastated and grieving the loss of their son and also for the other families involved in this tragic accident. The Warrington Band were in Sweden to take part in a music festival on Friday and were due to play a gig in Guildford in Surrey on Saturday. The incident happened in the early hours of Saturday near Stockholm, just hours after the band had played their first gig outside the UK. Police say their car hit a roadside barrier and plunged into a canal, falling through a gap in a bridge which had opened to let a boat pass through. Mr. Tari's family said in a statement, Craig was a warm, loving person who had worked tirelessly to achieve success and follow his dreams within the music industry. He will be sadly missed by his family and his colleagues. Mr. Reeves's family said they were heartbroken. River had such talent and such humility, such charm and such innocence it seems so unfair that he can be taken so cruelly from us like this, they said in a statement. Mr. Tari, who lived in Los Angeles, was passionate about Manchester City Football Club and was a member of the Hollywood branch of the Team Supporters Club. Fellow member and friend Matthew Kershaw said, he was much loved by all of us, and all those that ever came in contact with him, and we are devastated for his family, and for his friends, who are truly all around the world. Figures from the music industry and fans of the band have also been paying tribute to the four-piece and their manager. BBC Radio 1's Huss Stevens said the Warrington band were incredibly promising, were building a loyal fan base and had already toured with bigger bands. Music promoter Dave Pichillingy booked the band for the Liverpool Sound City Festival last year and they were scheduled to play again this year. They were a hungry, energetic, amazing band who were on the verge of great things, he said. BBC Radio Merseyside presenter Dave Monks, who was among the first to play their music on air, said they were great guys who had so much going for them. Ross Jarman, from the Cribs, tweeted, Heart goes out to the Viola Beach guys and their families. Indie rock band, The Enemy, tweeted, Rip Viola Beach and their manager. Such incredibly tragic and sad news. Thought with the friends and families of all involved. The principal of Priestley College in Warrington, where three of the band members went, said they had really bright futures ahead of them. It is a very sad day for Priestley and for Warrington, he said. A musician who played at the Where Is The Music Festival in Norrköping, Sweden, said they were fantastic people to be around. John Olsen, from Swedish band Psychophant, said, they were a great band. I was standing in the audience thinking I will be able to say I hung around with Viola Beach before they made it big. Swedish police said they received a call about 2.30 local time, 1.30 GMT, and were on the scene within five minutes. They said divers recovered the bodies of the victims after their Nissan Cash K plunged through a gap in the bridge, which has a middle section that rises directly upwards without tilting. A barrier before the opening has flashing lights and warning signs, the officer handling the case said. Inspector Martin Bergholm said, for some reason, the car drove through the barriers and crashed down into the canal. The witnesses just saw a car beside them and kind of disappear. Eyewitness Johnny Alex Anderson told the BBC he was waiting for the bridge to go down when he saw a car coming very fast on the left side. It was very tight, he said. They passed me and in front of me was a taxi and the car smashed the side of this car and then they go in the barrier, then I don't see anything more of the car, the lights were gone. 